In chemistry, specific rotation is a property of a chiral chemical compound. It is defined as the change in orientation of monochromatic plane polarized light, per unit distance euro concentration product, as the light passes through a sample of a compound in solution. Compounds which rotate light clockwise are said to be dextrorotary, and correspond with positive specific rotation values, while compounds which rotate light counterclockwise are said to be levorotary, and correspond with negative values. If a compound is able to rotate plane polarized light, it is said to be a euro optically active via euro. Specific rotation is an intensive property, distinguishing it from the more general phenomenon of optical rotation. As such, the observed rotation of a sample of a compound can be used to quantify the enantiomeric excess of that compound, provided that the specific rotation for the enantiopa compound is known. The variance of specific rotation with wavelength the euro a phenomenon known as optical rotatory dispersion the euro can be used to find the absolute configuration of a molecule. The concentration of bulk sugar solutions is sometimes determined by comparison of the observed optical rotation with the known specific rotation. Definition The CRC Handbook of Chemistry and Physics defines specific rotation as For an optically active substance, defined by I plus or minus I I equals I plus or minus slash I cubed L, where I plus or minus is the angle through which plane polarized light is rotated by a solution of mass concentration I cubed and path length L. Here I is the Celsius temperature and I the wavelength of the light at which the measurement is carried out. Although the unit for specific rotation is dega m lag r1 and m1, values for specific rotation are typically reported in units of degrees wherein the other components of the unit are tacitly assumed. These values should always be accompanied by information about the temperature, solvent and wavelength of light used, as all of these variables can affect the specific rotation. As noted above, temperature and wavelength are frequently reported as a superscript and subscript, respectively, while the solvent is reported parenthetically, or omitted if it happens to be water. Measurement Optical rotation is measured with an instrument called a polarimeter. There is a linear relationship between the observed rotation and the concentration of optically active compound in the sample. There is a nonlinear relationship between the observed rotation and the wavelength of light used. Specific rotation is calculated using either of two equations, depending on whether the sample is a pure chemical to be tested or that chemical dissolved in solution equals for pure liquids equals, this equation is used. In this equation, I plus or minus is the measured rotation in degrees, L is the path length in decimeters, and I is the density of the liquid in gram per milliliter, for a sample at a temperature T and wavelength I. If the wavelength of the light used is 589 nanometers, the symbol a euro oe da euro is used. The sign of the rotation is always given. A degree equals for solutions equals, for solutions, a slightly different equation is used. In this equation, I plus or minus is the measured rotation in degrees, L is the path length in decimeters, C is the concentration in gram per milliliter, T is the temperature at which the measurement was taken, and I is the wavelength in nanometers. For practical and historical reasons, concentrations are often reported in units of G slash 100 milliliters. In this case, a correction factor in the numerator is necessary. When using this equation, the concentration and the solvent may be provided in parentheses after the rotation. The rotation is reported using degrees, and no units of concentration are given. The sign of the rotation is always given. If the wavelength of the light used is 589 nanometer, the symbol euro oe da euro is used. If the temperature is emitted, it is assumed to be at standard room temperature. For example, the specific rotation of a compound would be reported in the scientific literature as a degree equals dealing with large and small rotations equals if a compound has a very large specific rotation or a sample is very concentrated, the actual rotation of the sample may be larger than 180 a degree, and so a single polarimeter measurement cannot detect when this has happened. In these cases, Measuring the rotation at several different concentrations allows one to determine the true value. 
Another method would be to use shorter path lengths to perform the measurements. In cases of very small or very large angles, one can also use the variation of specific rotation with wavelength to facilitate measurement. Switching wavelength is particularly useful when the angle is small. Many polarimeters are equipped with a mercury lamp for this purpose. Applications equals in antiomeric excess equals if the specific rotation of a pure chiral compound is known it is possible to use the observed rotation to determine the enantiomeric excess or optical purity of a sample of the compound by using the formula for example if a sample of bromobitane measured under standard conditions has an observed rotation of a 9.2 a degree this indicates that the net effect is due to 100% equals 40% of the R enantiomer. The remainder of the sample is a racemic mixture of the enantiomers, which has no net contribution to the observed rotation. The enantiomeric excess is 40%. The total concentration of R is 70%. However, in practice the utility of this method is limited, as the presence of small amounts of highly rotating impurities can greatly affect the rotation of a given sample. Moreover, the optical rotation of a compound may be non-linearly dependent on its enantiomeric excess because of aggregation in solution. For these reasons other methods of determining the enantiomeric ratio, such as gas chromatography or HPLC with a chiral column, are generally preferred. Equals absolute configuration equals, the variation of specific rotation with wavelength is called optical rotatory dispersion. ORD can be used in conjunction with computational methods to determine the absolute configuration of certain compounds. References External links, Specific Rotation Calculator